Out of the sweeping new proposals on gun violence from President Obama, the reaction has been swift and fierce from the NRA and other gun rights supporters. Some state officials and at least one governor suggesting they won't enforce proposals even if they become law. ABC's John Carl has the story. At a firearms trade show in Las Vegas Wednesday, the reaction to the president's plan was almost universally negative. I'm opposed to it. It's going to have zero effect on school shootings. I really don't agree with Obama. In Texas, Governor Rick Perry said he was disgusted by the way the president was using the Sandy Hook massacre. We need to be looking at this whole mental health issue substantially more than we are using these death of these young children to further a political cause. A Texas state representative went further, vowing to write a bill that would make it a felony for anyone in the state to enforce new gun laws. In Mississippi, the governor had a similar idea, urging the legislature to prohibit the enforcement of any new federal laws Obama could get passed. I support the current laws. I don't believe we need to change anything at all. The ferocity of the opposition does not surprise the White House. It's been nearly two decades since any new gun laws have been passed. This will not happen unless the American people demand it. We suffer too much pain and care too much about our children to allow this to continue. The key elements of the president's plan, including the ban on assault weapons and requiring background checks on virtually all gun sales, are things the NRA has adamantly opposed and vows to continue to fight. There are millions upon millions of people in this country who care deeply about their Second Amendment rights and are not going to vote for politicians who sell them out to some pie in the, in the sky scheme. In recent polls, a significant majority of the public supports each of the major elements of the president's plan. That's why the White House plans to launch an all-out public campaign to support it, tapping into that grassroots network that helped the president win re-election. George? And they are going to need everything they've got. Okay, John Carl, thanks.